today I'm going to show you how to build a simple calculator using a T flip flop. So if you don't know what a T flip flop is, it looks something like this. Have a piston on this size, um, sorry, on this side, and another one on this side. And you, there are ways to it in old versions. I'm using a redstone block because it makes it slightly simpler. Up here, this is an. Um, the subtract button and this is the addition button so the idea is this actually let's do a visual representation so um, just take it from here uh, redstone lamp one of them okay, like that so at the moment it is off this is the addition button, which I've marked with stone. Okay, that has added one, so this represents one. And if I press it again, it doesn't do anything. So it's only a one bit calculator. I'll show you how to make it bigger later on. Okay, but the subtract button, T flip flop goes back and the light goes off. So that's now zero. Make it day. If I press that again, it doesn't do anything because it's already zero. So the way this works in more detail is if this block is here, like so, you see this emits a redstone current this way and this way. So we'll start with the addition side. This is an AND gate, or actually specifically, this is a NAND gate, which is not AND. So, if um, both inputs are true, so if this input is on and this input is on, then... No, wait, sorry, I've got that wrong. No? Wait. No, I have got that wrong, sorry. If this is off and this is off, then both the... No, I was right the first time. If this is on and this is on, then this torch here will be off. No, on, even. Hang on. This is much easier when you're building it, not trying to explain it. Because... Well, the way an AND gate works, we'll start with an AND gate. The way an AND gate works is if both inputs are true, so this is A, this is B, if both inputs are true, then it will emit a signal. With this one, it is if um, both, sorry, so let me go back. Subtract. This will make this easier to explain. Okay. So you see, because that is subtracted, this goes through a not gate, which inverts the signal, so this redstone signal is on. That torch is then off. If I press this button, this torch will turn off, which will mean there's no redstone signal going to this, which means this will then emit a current, like so. Because that has emitted a current onto here, that inverts here. Sorry, that, yeah, well, inverts adds one it'll only allow it to go that way because once it's there it's emitting this signal which means this one is off which means both these are on which means if i push that only that will turn off and that will stay on which means no current can go here because this is again a not gate which inverts it okay simple now it's one so that lights on subtract it goes off the way subtract works as you probably guessed is pretty much the same except it's inverted and to invert it you just remove this not gate here i've put a repeater there which is on two for some reason uh just so and this is so 15 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. Oh, okay that doesn't even need to be there and i put another one down okay so let's add one okay and then subtract one See, that all works fine. So that is the only difference between the add and the subtract side. The add side has that not gate there. The subtract side doesn't. 
I will make I will show you how to make it more than a one bit calculator. I will have to build a bigger one. It's a bit of a hole there from the cannon. I will be right back. Okay, so a hell of a long time later. It is done. This is a two bit calculator. That only adds in some tracks. <coughs> but still. It's a two bit calculator. So this one here, I'm going to sign these up actually. So, uh, because, well, why not? So this is one. Can't see that at all. One. Two. So, got our add button, got our subtract button. Save these up as well, why not? And. And sub, sub, because I'm lazy. And we are going to go add, boom, one. We're going to go add, boom, two. We are going to subtract, one again, and subtract, and nothing. So this is binary if I was to add another bit then both these would be on so that would be three and if I was to add another bit then it would do four I could do um, one like so it goes one two three but that's inefficient because the most I would be able to get would be well it depends how you how you want to do it but technically three I guess would be the most I could get whereas you know I can get three with three bits sorry I've been doing this a long time my brain hurts I'm not making any sense so I'll explain this once again I've used stone for for the addition side and Neverack for the subtract side now you'll notice the subtract side is a lot more confusing than the addition side and it made my brain hurt. So we'll start with add, as before. That flip flop moves over, and that sends a signal to here. I'll explain how this bit works in a minute. We add again. That one goes on, which makes two. I could make this more fancy so that one goes off at two and then it adds again at three. But I spent enough time doing it this way, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with this way for the time being. Um so the way this one this one works, um in order and let's subtract one so you can see what the conditions need to be for the add button to work. So the add signal goes to here. So this will go off when I press the add button. And the condition here is this has to be on to allow. So that's here. You see this redstone signal goes in here to make this off. And obviously they both have to be off. So uh, condition one, there has to be at least one in order for it to go to two. And condition two is the button has to be pressed. And that makes redstone signal, which goes to this not gate, which as before would put this across. So, we should now do that. Okay, and now, because it's on, it sends a signal here, which means if I press that button again, which I will do now, it can't move. Because even though the conditions are correct for it to add here, this is stopping it. Because if I and to break that so that would be the effect of pressing the button you see that's still powering it's the redstone torch doesn't turn on okay brace yourselves we're on to subtract i'm going to do that just because that was annoying me okay so we're gonna subtract away zero actually no we're at 
we'll add one so you can see the first one. Um, right, the conditions. So it needs to power. So this signal here needs to be off in order for that to move. Okay, condition one is here. It has to be getting a signal from there. So it, the figure has to be at least one. So that, that one there has to be on. So that turns that torch off. And then the button has to be pushed. That will turn that one off. And then that will switch on. Let's add again. Now, this is a bit... This is where it gets difficult because there is another condition to consider. It can't, it has a value of at least one and the button has to be pushed. So logically, this should be able to um, put that back to zero, but it can't because this block is powering here. So if I push the button uh, to subtract, it will subtract that one but not this one because this is on while it's trying to subtract um, so conditions for this are that this is an AND gate and this is getting the signal from here so this is the this is flip flop one so the signal comes up here across it the repeater just keeps the signal strong and that turns that torch off and this torch is coming from here so that's saying that's on so two is on and one is on then this torch here is on because both of them are off and then that is condition one here and as always condition two the button has to be pressed so we Press the button, it's subtracted, you can see the result there, push it again, that one's subtracted. So they're both off and we're back to zero. So now how this bit works, this little binary thing that I've got going on here. We get, this is signal 2 coming along the never rack because it's on the subtract side. I should have really picked a different block but you know. So um, uh, we'll call this one condition one is, no that's stupid, we'll call this condition one. Condition one is that flip flop one, so the value has to be one. Condition two is the value has to be two. And then that goes here to power this one. Condition here is, um, this condition is simply one. So. This is condition uh, one here is one and two. Condition two is one. And then that powers, and then that's inverted there, which powers this. And then this condition, uh, to power this one, it's simply one and two. We'll turn that one on. So I hope you've understood this. I went quite in depth here. This is obviously assuming you understand the concept of a flip flop. You understand the concept of logic gates and things. Um, if you found this just completely baffling, it is quite it is quite confusing. I got, you know, I had this all drawn out on paper, and I still managed to screw it up several thousand times. Um, but luckily I didn't film that, otherwise that would have been embarrassing. So if you want me to go into detail on like the mechanics of an AND gate, the mechanics of an OR gate, um, exclusive OR gates, and um, things like that, and if you want me to go into detail on flip-flops and maybe some other ways of making one-bit memory cells, then um, let me know. Leave a comment, send me a message, whatever. So um, take care. And I will see you soon.